Alright, welcome back everyone to another Texan tutorial. This is the fourth uh, how to create a pro intro in Sony Vegas Pro uh, video or tutorial and I must say this is probably the most creative one I've made. Why? Because we're going to be using a video camera for this. We're going to be using a green screen or chroma key actually and we're going to be messing around with some TV effects. And if you combine all that together this is what we're going to make. looks cool right so uh, to make this first of all you mean you will need to record something so let me just sh uh, let me just get that footage I just recorded and I'll show you what you will need to do so let me just drag it in okay so first of all uh, your camera now your camera has to be really good for this I mean it ha I mean in recording terms uh, if you if your camera can record in great high quality or even HD which is a lot better uh, then that would be really good. So in this case, I used the Nikon P100, which records in full HD. So that's okay. In this case, I recorded in 720p because I'm on my Toshiba, which is the older computer right now. Okay. So first off, you will need to record your monitor having a green, plain screen, just a plain green color as the screen. If you want to do that without the desktop icons and the taskbar and everything, it's easy. On Sony Vegas Pro itself insert a video track then go to media generators and then go to solid color and you're gonna add the green solid color to the timeline now what should happen is that your video preview should be plain green and if you click here the video preview on external monitor or basically full screen uh, your monitor should be filled up with the green color or what appears to be here now make sure if you have a widescreen monitor make sure you set the resolution in the project pop properties to a widescreen resolution so you can see here I've set it to 1280 by 720 which is 720p okay and then you're gonna record the footage of your monitor just lying around there for a couple of seconds at about five seconds you will hit your monitor like so and it will start shaking and just wait for about three seconds and end the video okay and now let's get to it so you're gonna insert a video track which I've already did and then you're just but that video track is gonna be below the video track of the recorded footage so let me just drag it down a little more if you don't know how to add a video track that must be stupid so right click and click on insert video track and then let's add our text it's a text media and let's type text on TV and let's reduce the font size to 48 you know what let's mess with that later I need to show you something now uh, if many of you know what a chroma key here is then we obviously need to remove the screen part of the monitor for those that don't we're gonna be using chroma key here, which is going to cut out this green screen from the monitor so to do that go to video effects and then go to chroma key here. there and then you're gonna drag green screen into the video camera footage and now I should see that that green part of the monitor has been removed because we set the green color in the chroma key settings so what it should do is that it will search in the video anything that is green or matches this color or near it and it will remove it from the video and it will reveal what is it will reveal the footage of the video track before it so anyways we need to be the color that it has to be so let's just put this to white for a minute color picker and then we'll pick the color over here so that it will be exact so now you can see it it, it is exact and um, it has removed the color we want and it doesn't look a little bit more blue like you saw earlier so um, now it matches properly okay so now you can see the text that we just made behind it and if we were to play the video uh, like so wait since I'm on the damn Toshiba I always have to do this ramp review thing I made a tutorial tutorial on it right so yeah so now if you were to play it you can notice right there so 
the text looks fine for now and now what we need to do let me just go to edit generated media again of the text let's change the font because I really don't like this font so hmm oh this was what I was looking for uh, since this one's small let's say it's about 72 then we go to properties and text color will set it to black and the background color will set it to white easy as that and let me just go to effects draw outline let's set it to blue so if I put it to full you can notice right here that our text now has an outline so it should be good enough okay so now what we want to do is we want to add that TV scanning effect like you see on the old TVs so that's that's very really easy to do just go on the video effects again TV simulator and we're gonna add the bad sync effect to the text but we have a problem now if you noticed on the video right now you can see the lines which is supposed to be on the via uh, on the text also appears on the video camera footage or outside the monitor how do we fix that because we don't want that we only want the lines to appear inside the monitor we are gonna go to event effects of the video camera footage so we bring up the chroma key settings again on the high threshold we're gonna reduce it until the lines don't appear outside in the monitor but make sure it's clear as possible okay so yep that should do so now you can see the lines don't appear outside the monitor but it's very clear inside so we're pretty much done with that part and now you can just mess around with the settings of the TV simulator settings so event effects of the text and we're gonna increase the static just to make it more static um, we're gonna remove or set the vertical sync to one so that it doesn't move from downwards to upwards or downwards to upwards we just want the text to stay there but it will wiggle or uh, vibrate along the monitor so um, let me just see if I can change anything else No. Yeah, that should do. So now, if you notice, let me just play the RAM preview again so I can show you a clear video. I'm so sorry about this, but I'm re recording this on my old laptop because my mom's currently using her Sony Vio and I could have recorded on that easily. So if you notice, you can see we have this bad TV scan look. Now, what I want to do now is that when I hit the monitor, it should all be clear again and you can see the text nice and properly. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is okay. I mean, okay, uh, event effects of the text, and then on the timeline over here, you're just gonna move the slider towards the timing where you hit the monitor. You can also see the video preview because that also moves as well. So let me just there we go. That's when I hit it. At this point, you're gonna insert a keyframe, and then just as you uh, hit the right button, you're gonna on the preset you're gonna select TV look. So now it should be kind of clear, but you can still see the lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce interlacing to a little bit right there. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me just move this keyframe a bit. Wait a minute. Let me just move the slider to see what it's okay. Yeah, that should do. And we we'll make this smooth. So uh, if let's just let's just change the keyframe interpolation of these two. So so that the uh, effect is more smooth so we're gonna highlight these two keyframes we're gonna right click and click on smooth if you don't know what this process what I ju did just now for the keyframes if you don't know what I just did then you can watch my keyframe interpolation tutorial which a bubble will appear on your screen right now and you can, you can just click and watch the tutorial anyways so now it should be more smooth let's just highlight this and now let's play it okay so you can see when I hit the monitor there it's all clear and now you saw later in the video that it zooms in towards the screen of the monitor and uh, the text also zooms it as well so how do we do that on the track of the video camera footage we're gonna click on track motion and then we're gonna move the slider until the time that wait a minute okay we're just gonna move this a little more leave after some time just after you finish just shaking it add a keyframe 
and then sometime later you're gonna uh, increase the size of this box so that you see in the video preview it moves inside towards the screen so make sure that you only can see what's inside the screen right now so that's okay and we're gonna highlight these two keyframes right click smooth so that the zooming effect is smooth okay so now that we're done with that part so let me just render this render this again and let's play it hmm that's a little too fast let me just wait a minute let me just increase the speed of this or increase the gap so this would do so now let's just check it out yeah that should be good enough I mean it takes about nearly a second for it to uh, zoom in I hate it when I have to always do this but uh, anyways okay so now all we have to do is make the text zoom in along with the zooming effect of this as well so to do that go to track motion of the text and then move the slider towards the time that this also zoom in, zooms in as well so yeah this point should do so insert a keyframe and at and at the time this finishes zooming in which is around there you're gonna increase the size of this rectangle until the text is pretty much big enough so that you can see it right there that should be do that should be good and oh yeah make the keyframe smooth as well so we'll increase the size of them highlight these two keyframes we just made right click and click on smooth okay so now let's just test them out so let's just ramp preview this yep text zooms in as well so let's play it yes it, it, it does fine okay so that's pretty much it with this tutorial and one more thing like you heard in the end of the video you heard this Mac startup sound after some time it zooms in well if you want to do that just get it from YouTube there is a free YouTube to mp3 converter you can find on the internet and then you're gonna download it there are a couple of videos with the uh, Apple startup sounds and dead sounds so this is the one I got and you're gonna right click insert audio track and then you're gonna drag it in and which one do I want the one which I added yeah that one is good so let me just move the slider towards the time that it actually starts which is there and let's crop this I'll cut the pieces out I don't know what I'm saying okay let me just put it to draft quarter that's horrible yeah that's good so let me just run preview this one more time okay so let's play Yeah, that looks good. When I the monitor goes, changes, zooms in and makes that sound. So one more time, let me just show you. There we go. So now we're done with the intro. Now I'm gonna produce this and I'm gonna show you the final result of the intro we just made. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't want to subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.